Welcome to this month's Team Brief. I hope everybody's keeping well during this cold, long winter. Firstly this month, I'd just like to thank every member of the team who's been involved in the perfect week. This is an exercise where we try and recalibrate the organisation and try and improve flow throughout the organisation to improve patient care. Again, it's been a great success. Going forward, we're going to continue with our perfect week, but we're going to make it more standard work so the objective in future is to do this exercise three times a year and to make it more transformational and to focus on how we can really improve flow. I'd also just like to say at this point, thank you to everybody involved in the emergency department and A&E performance, which is most of us within this organisation. Our performance during January has been good. And indeed, during the last week, we were the best performing organisation in the whole of the North West. So thank you to everybody involved. One of the areas where we're going to focus over the coming weeks is on long lengths of stay. So over the next three months in particular, through our long length of stay team, you will see a real focus on trying to reduce what we call long standing patients, patients who have been in the organisation for in excess of 21 days, or patients who have been in the organisation for seven days, and a real focus on trying to get those patients home safely or into their own environments safely and with support. And finally this month, I'd just like to talk about sustainability. If you think about the NHS, we are a massive employer. We have a massive carbon footprint. So over the coming weeks, coming months and years, you will see sustainability within the NHS and particularly within ELHT becoming much more prominent. This will be in relation to things such as the travel and the journeys that we do. It'll be in relation to food, everything that we do. And I wish and hope that we'll all play our part in this work. Hi everyone, my name is Michelle Brown and I am the Director of Finance here at ELHT. And hi, my name is Kate Atkinson and I'm the Associate Director of Improvement. For the Spotlight session this month, we are focusing on our waste reduction programme. Um, in particular, how we can identify and remove waste from our systems and processes across the Trust. For the past 12 months, we've been embarking on a lean journey within the organisation, looking at how we can adopt lean principles and remove waste in our systems and processes. As part of this, we are really keen to talk to staff about their ideas for how we can reduce waste within the system. And as part of that, we've identified a really easy way to help you to identify those wastes. So we would now like to introduce you to Tim Woods. So Tim Woods is a way of identifying examples of waste, and we are now going to show you examples of those that we've already seen in our organisation. So the T stands for transport. This is where we may unnecessarily move patients, staff, specimens or other materials around the hospital where we don't actually need to. One example that we've been working on is reducing the amount of time our clinical flow team need to walk around the hospital by providing them with laptops. This has freed up time for them to spend time on the wards facilitating flow for our patients. So the I in Tim Woods stands for inventory, which is effectively stock. Where we have levels of stock in the organisation, there is a cost to us in terms of time to find things, if we have too much stock or cost of stock. But equally, um, we can have stock that goes out of date, which is another waste. So one example of where we've been trying to improve this is working with our laundry services, who have reviewed all of their stock levels of linen on the wards. Um, and have used a 6S process to tidy up the linen cupboards so that it's easier for staff to find things um, on a day-to-day -day basis. That's resulted in less time for staff to try and do those things and actually reduce stock level overall as well. So the next one is motion. Motion describes the time that staff unnecessarily have to take in order to be able to find the, the tools that they need to be able to do their job. So it might be about having to reach up high to find things that you use on a frequent basis or moving around from room to room to deliver care. If we can look at how we organise things and really set that up for staff, then we can reduce the amount of time it takes to actually go and find the tools in order to free up time to deliver care for patients. 
The WN Tim Woods stands for waiting. There are lots and lots of examples in the NHS of waiting, whether that's patients waiting for appointments, patients and staff waiting for results uh, from diagnostic tests. And I'm sure you can think of countless examples in your own area of where waiting takes place all of the time. The first O in Tim Woods is overproduction. This may be where we're producing more resources than what we need to actually complete a job. An example would be printing. So do we really need to print off everything that we currently print off across the organisation? Or can we use our electronic system to prevent the need for this in the future? So the second O in Tim Woods, it stands for over-processing. Um, this refers to doing more than we need to for any particular task or using more resources than we need to. Um, for, exam for example, filling in a form multiple times when we, when we may not actually need that. One great example of this though is the use of plastic gloves in the organisation and we are currently working on a project with our critical care and infection control teams to try and reduce this. Are you aware for instance that we use 15.8 million single use plastic gloves each year at ELHT? So not only a significant financial cost, but a significant environmental cost as well. The D in Tim Woods stands for defects. This covers time that we might spend actually doing tasks incorrectly or having to check and fix any errors in work done by other people. At the moment, we're working across the organisation to get rid of all of our faxes with the aim that this will prevent any defects with information being sent to the wrong place or the incorrect information being sent to external teams. So the S in Tim Woods stands for skills and quite simply that's about ensuring that we have the right people doing the right job and ensuring that we maximise the potential of our fantastic staff here at ELHT. So I'm sure you've seen from that that you will have lots and lots of examples where you can identify waste in your area. If you do, we would encourage you to speak to your line manager in the first instance, but also there's a button on Ollie on the internet called the Waste Reduction Button. We welcome any ideas that you've got that we can help you to reduce our waste. So thank you very much for listening and Tim Woods will be here in an area near you soon.